Welcome to the Disney vs. Battles, a series focusing on characters from the Disney universe analyzing their combat skills and abilities in a side-by-side -side comparison to determine who would win in a hypothetical battle. Today's matchup will be Tarzan, King of the Jungle vs. the Monstrous Beast. For this battle, I will be observing both combatants after their sequels and will not be using anything from a video game or any other non-canon sources. With all that out the way, let's begin. After an English couple and their infant son escape from a burning ship, they end up landing on an uncharted rainforest off the coast of Africa. The couple works together, using wreckage from their ship to create a treehouse, but are killed by a rogue leopardess known as Saber. Kala, a female gorilla who lost her own child to Saber, hears the cries of the now orphaned baby and finds him in the ruined treehouse. Kala rescues the infant, taking him back to her home with fellow gorillas in order to raise him as her child. Kala raises the human child despite the disapproval of her mate Kerchak, naming him Tarzan. Due to his inability to keep up with his new family, feeling as though he did not belong or fit in amongst his new family, Tarzan decides to improve himself, learning to swing from vines, climbing trees, surfing on vines, as well as learning to swim. As an adult, the jungle lord fights against his biological mother and father's murderer in a battle to the death. In the end, he emerges from the skirmish victorious, avenging both his parents in addition to his adoptive mother's deceased child and earns Kerchak's respect. Not long after his victory, the Jungle King meets a trio of explorers, Professor Porter, his daughter Jane, and their hunter slash guide, Clayton. Upon their arrival, Porter educates Tarzan on other humans in society, with the help of his daughter, who teaches him how to speak English. Through the course of his studies, Tarzan becomes closer to Jane, forming a bond which leads into a more romantic connection built between them. As a result of their kindness, in conjunction with Clayton's claims of Jane's willingness to stay with the Jungle King if she has a chance to meet gorillas, Tarzan agrees to let the trio observe gorillas in his troop. Sometime later, Clayton betrays the wild man's trust, bringing back a group of men to capture all of the gorillas, leading up to a fight with Kerchak, but he is killed in the process. In this instance, an enraged Tarzan engages in a fierce battle with the former ally. The Jungle Lord eventually rises triumphantly after Clayton accidentally hangs himself. In conclusion, Tarzan proves himself to be worthy of protecting his family, becoming the new leader of his troop, and claims his title as King of the Jungle. Disguised as an old beggar, an enchantress offers Prince Adam a rose, hoping to obtain shelter from the harsh cold weather. However, he refuses to assist her in an extremely arrogant manner. In response to his rudeness, the Enchantress transforms Adam into a beast and turns all his servants into household items. Before she leaves, the Enchantress gives Adam a magic mirror with the ability to view events far beyond his castle 
in addition to anything else he desires. The newly formed beast is also given the same enchanted rose he previously refused to accept. In order to break his curse, Beast must learn to love another and earn her affection before the rose's last petal falls. If he fails, he will remain a beast forever. Ten years later, a young woman named Belle, a nonconformist bookworm, becomes bored with life in her village and begins to seek excitement. Because of her indifference to general social norms, in addition to her nonconformist ideals, Belle is subsequently ridiculed by everyone except her father Maurice, an eccentric inventor. Another exception to this would be an arrogant muscular hunter known as Gaston. Deeply infatuated with her beauty, Gaston openly expresses his intentions of marrying Belle. Despite his popularity with women in their village, Belle often rejects his advances. While traveling to a fair, to present his wood chopping machine, Maurice along with his horse Philippe get lost in the forest. Maurice comes across the beast's castle after he is chased by a pack of wolves. After wandering inside the castle, Maurice is discovered by an angry Prince Adam and is thrown into the dungeon. Some time later, Philippe escapes the grasp of the monstrous beast and leads Belle to where her father is being held captive. Belle offers to take her father's place as prisoner. Over the course of time, the pair fall in love, but the young woman eventually begin to miss her father. Because of this revelation, Beast allows Belle to rescue the eccentric inventor. Following her father's rescue, Gaston discovers Belle's affection for the monster and decides to kill him. However, he falls to his death near the climax of their confrontation. Due to Belle's love for the Beast, his curse is lifted, transforming him back into a human. Tarzan can usually be found brandishing a spear, staff, or a knife. With each weapon, he holds a remarkable level of skill. In addition to his experience with weapons, the Jungle Lord frequently wrestles gorillas in his spare time, defeated a leopard, and has held his own against two panthers at the same time. Though not trained in any specific form of combat, at his core, Tarzan is a skilled hunter who knows his way around a battlefield, developing his own unique fighting style and employing a wild randomized method of attack to throw his opponents off balance. The beast possesses razor sharp claws and fangs. His claws are sharp enough to cut through thick rugs as well as curtains in addition to smashing oak furniture. The beast has demonstrated skills in the art of stealth on more than one occasion. In battle, Beast is ferocious, attacking his opponents with animalistic aggression, using his sheer might to overwhelm his adversaries, and has taken on a vicious pack of wolves. 
When it comes to their weaponry, both combatants have deadly tools they can use to slice or stab an opponent. But in terms of their combative application, Tarzan's spear provides him with more advantages in battle than Beast's claws. Despite the fact his claws have a superior destructive capacity, much of his combat effectiveness depends on how well he performs with them in a fight. Based on his appearances in films, Beast has never displayed any particular skill in the usage of his weapons. In terms of their combat skills and strategy, the Beast is far more aggressive in his approach to fighting, using his size and strength to rush his opponent with devastating force. However, Tarzan is a more balanced fighter who has experience dealing with enemies who are stronger and larger than himself in battle. Tarzan's method of fighting, in addition to his advantages his spear provides him, proved to be more practical and effective. Tarzan gets the edge for combat skills and weaponry. Tarzan has displayed an incredible measure of physical strength, holding his own against a 400 pound silverback gorilla. Tarzan managed to place his father figure Kerchak in a chokehold, pinning him to the ground. Tarzan was also capable of fighting a leopardess, besting the animal in a battle to the death. Tarzan is able to move at incredible speeds reaching levels above the average capacity of a normal human, placing him among the ranks of athletes in peak physical condition. In terms of his agility, the Jungle King is capable of dodging and outmaneuvering opponents with the grace of an Olympic level athlete, evading animals such as gorillas, leopards, elephants, and rhinos. Tarzan possesses an extremely high level of durability and was able to withstand being thrown into a tree by a silverback gorilla. Tarzan possesses the ability to copy the sound of nearly any animal he comes into contact with. The beast possesses a tremendous amount of physical strength, lifting full-grown men single-handedly in addition to lifting large oak furniture. The beast is capable of throwing large objects with little to no effort and has broken furniture with a single chop. The beast also held his own against a pack of wolves. The beast is capable of moving at speeds far beyond the normal capacity of an average human, placing him among the ranks of Olympic level athletes in peak physical condition. Beast has demonstrated a high level of durability, being able to sustain damage from a pack of wolves and Gaston's arrow. He also has taken hits from Forte's magical energy blasts. The Beast is able to heal from sustaining minor to moderate portions of damage at a faster rate than what the average human is capable of dealing with. In his fight with Gaston, Beast appeared to display a considerable measure of agility, dodging many of the hunter's attacks. In strength, both Tarzan and Beast have displayed an incredible measure of might. However, Beast has proven his strength is far more superior to Tarzan's, possessing enough force to break objects beyond the capacity of what the Jungle King is capable of achieving. When it comes to their speed and agility, both combatants are nearly equal, with only one exception. Tarzan is far more agile in his movements, employing the use of acrobatic maneuvers in the midst of combat. Even though Beast was able to evade Gaston's attacks, he still hasn't displayed the same amount of maneuverability as Tarzan. 
Based on a majority of his appearances in canon, Tarzan has been able to endure a great deal of physical abuse. However, Beast was able to sustain a massive amount of damage, taking blows from magical energy in addition to being mauled by a pack of wolves. In terms of their X factors, Tarzan's abilities to mimic other animals is a useful tactic for causing misdirection if the fight falls into the realm of stealth. Beast's enhanced healing does make him harder to subdue. However, the beast's heightened senses, in addition to his own experience in stealth, negate Tarzan's voice mimicking skills. The beast's healing factor is not on par with characters who have superhuman accelerated healing. His abilities are only a few notches above the average rate of human recovery. Although Tarzan possesses a great amount of agility in his movements, Beast's physically stronger and is capable of sustaining much more damage to his body, giving him a greater advantage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Beast gets the edge for powers and abilities. When comparing the stats of both fighters, it becomes clear that this battle would most likely be a contest between the beast's physical strength and durability versus Tarzan's combat skills and agility. Although beast has enough power to dominate the fight, Tarzan has experience facing enemies who are physically stronger than him, using their strength and size against them. In battle, beast moves like a raging bull. Tarzan is capable of dodging his attacks with ease. The beast is able to endure a significant amount of damage, however his durability is only a few notches above average and does have its limits. With enough force, the beast can be knocked out. I declare Tarzan, King of the Jungle, the victor. This has been the Disney vs. Battle series. I have been your host, the Mighty Quan. Thanks for watching.